Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy and to Elite Dangerous. If you're also looking for data mined wake exceptions, stick around because in this video I'm going to show you how to easily find them. So, to find these data mined wake exceptions, which you use for a lot of the different engineer blueprints, blueprints what you have to do is you go to a galaxy map and you find you need to find a system we go to the, the filtering tab and click on the the by color by click state um i want to find a system that is the famine 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 i don't know how to pronounce that um but we need to find a system in this state so just make sure that's the only one selected and when you then look around the map you can see all these yellow or pink dots and all these systems should be in that state so fly to any of these systems and make sure you're in a fairly mobile ship with a wake scanner, of course, because we need to scan a lot of um, of high wakes to get these data. So once you're in the system, what you do is you need to find a specific type of signal. Um, not the, um, this is called a persistent signal source because they should always be in the system. The easiest way to find these um, is to go in and then set your filters in here. And I normally just set them for signal sources, point of interest, and stations, just because so I can find the stations in case I need them. And what we're looking for is this one, distribution center. And I just happen to be uh, right next to one, so we're gonna uh, gonna lock that and um, and let's fly in. And I'll show you what you can do, what you get in there. So we just landed in the distribution center, and in here you will see three type nines should be there we go the three type lines and you can see on the radar they are around them are a lot of navigation beacons you can also see them over here in our contact tab and a lot of ships will uh, will arrive they will pick something up from the um, from the type lines and as soon as they've done that they're going to uh, fly away see like the guy here so let's follow him and as soon as he flies away he's going to jump out So we're gonna follow this guy, there we go. Looks like he's boosting out. And... Come on. There we go, he jumps out. And that's when we're gonna jump in, take our wake scanner, and scan his high wake. And this is gonna give us some data, and if we're lucky, we're gonna get the data that we need. So let's see what we get. Unlucky this time, Un but lucky for us, there is already two other wakes in the in this area. There's the fourth one. You can see they're coming very quickly now. So you just turn around and you scan the next wake and the next wake. And you just keep scanning these wakes. They'll keep uh, more ships will keep spawning. They will go to the type nines and then they will fly out. Let's see, no luck that time either. So let's just find the next one. That's four kilometers away. There should be one closer. I think there's one. There. No, that's the navigation beacon. What about that one? How close is that? Well, that's pretty close. Uh, it's behind us. And often you will see all the, um, the wakes being clumped up because often the people will go to the same system. And of course, if they're going to the same system, they're all jumping out in the same direction. Um, and if you're ever in doubt, if you have scanned uh, a beacon, so no data on that one. You can always see here in your navigation tabs that they will have ha they will have a system name after them once they're scanned. So the ones that just called high energy frameshift drive wake are the ones you haven't scanned yet. If they have a system name um, after them, that means they're already scanned. And we just see people jumping in and out all the time right now. So just boost to get over there a little bit quicker and. Essentially, all you have to do is just fly around in here and scan all these um, all these wakes, and eventually you will find the data that you need. This will, of course, also give you lots of other types of data. Um, I highly recommend that you fit a um, a wake scanner with a longer range than the one I have. Unfortunately, I only had an E-rated um, scanner on my ship, so that limits the range. You do benefit from a longer range. Unlucky this time. Um, Let's see if we can find, is there anything we haven't scanned? There's one there. Let's go to that one. And I guess you get the point from here. Um, 
And I'll just keep scanning these for a little bit until we actually get uh oh that's not uh, until we actually get what we're looking for. Ah there we go. Look at the upper right corner. Finally got one. And this is what I'm talking about. You can see here I'm just sitting at this point and all the um, the wakes are just clumping up in this location because they're all jumping to the same system in that direction. So I can just sit here and just scan the wakes as uh, as people fly by and eventually you'll get them. And each time that you make a successful scan and get the right uh, type of data, you will get three units. Um, it should fill up your data bank fairly quickly. Um, but this is by far the easiest way to, um, to gather these kind of resources. So hope you find it uh, useful if you did. Give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel but also let me know in the comments down below what type of other both uh, data but also materials you would like to uh, to see a guide on how to uh, how to collect so thanks a lot for watching and until next time i will see you guys in space